The cinema business in Australia has seen many changes over its 120 year history, and Perth has been witness to all of them. It all started one balmy evening in 1897, at the corner of Hay Street and King Street, when this film, shot at the previous year's Melbourne Cup, with one of the Lumiere Brothers' cinematograph cameras, was shown to the public. We met up with Perth Heritage Executive Director Richard Offen at the site of this historic event. It must have caused a huge stir because they continued showing the film nightly until February of the following year. As a result of that, eventually His Majesty's Theatre was built here. Although it's primarily been a live theatre venue, it has also shown films at various times during its history. The Piccadilly Cinema, which was the last one to close in Perth, is from the era when cinema was king, both here and pretty much in the rest of the world. It grew, developed from those early days of those silent films, just little clips of the Melbourne Cup and things like that, to feature films, which were shown throughout the First World War to keep people's morale up. Then in the 1920s, cinema became incredibly popular. Much longer films were being showed, but they were augmented with live performers. So you would have vaudeville acts, musicals, uh, orchestras, all would entertain the troops whilst the projectionist was changing the reels. Just down here on the south side of Hay Street was the Ambassadors. Many people in Perth remember the Ambassadors because it was a magnificent building. It was known as an atmospheric cinema because it was full of statuary, the ceiling was blue with stars on it, and the notion was you went into the theatre, sat down, and real life was suspended whilst you watched a film. After the Second World War, cinema came back into its own until television came in in the 1960s. So much so, in the early 50s, the Savoy Hotel took out its billiards hall down in the basement and re-equipped it as a cinema. As a result of this upsurge in cinema going, the Liberty Cinema behind me opened in 1955. This showed high art films. It opened with a film version of the opera Tosca, would show musicals, operas, Shakespearean productions, all on film. And that continued until the late 1960s, when the cinema closed because of the competition with television. We sat down with Barry Goldman, a retired projectionist who worked in Perth for 53 years. 1962, 19... Uh, December 2013, so 53 years in the film industry. Well, with the advent of television, I was just getting interested in going to the movies. I used to go to the matinees. The advent of television really knocked the film industry rotten in Western Australia. We asked Barry what it was that he thought brought audiences back to the big screen. Uh, I think the the spectacles, you know, there was long run movies, uh, My Fair Lady, Sound of Music, Lawrence of Arabia. They were just a few of the long run movies which people clamoured for. We put it to Barry that cinema attendance may be poised to bounce back. I think people are going back to the movies, you know, there's, they're covering different companies cater for different people. There's Spanish film festivals, there's French film festivals, German, Russian, you know, people are going to see this, you know, and I think the TV has got to the stage where people are going back to the cinemas just to escape and there's the event cinemas with the lounges and that and people want to spend money. From the 1970s, we had Cinema City, which was a city centre multiplex cinema, but sadly that died too, as the population of central Perth diminished and the multiplex cinemas in the suburbs took over. Now, 
the population of central Perth is growing again, and I predict that one of these days, films will be shown in the city again.